I am Hank, Google Ecom Specialist, and in the past few years, I have scaled dozens of stores to six figures a month via Google Ads. And in today's video, I want to break down how you can find thousand plus winning products for your Google Store. Because like I said in the last video, the amount of products is really important. And no, it doesn't lie in all into the quantity. It's also quality of the products. So today I'm going to share with you a product research method, which is data driven which is anticipating on trends and which makes sure that you find products that already have product market fit so you can fill your stores with products that customers actually want. So without further ado, let's get started. The ultimate product research strategy for Google Ads to make sure you find thousand plus products for your store that will generate you six figures a month or more. In today's video, I will share you how this works and which four steps you need to take to follow this method. But first, let me talk about more about data and psychology. Because let, like I said before, Google Ads is all about data and psychology. Because the buyers on Google Ads are intentional. People are actively searching for something they are looking for. And these intentions, these impulses come from external events. You have to understand that the weather has a big influence on the purchase decisions the holidays other events worldwide or the fact that some people get um, vacation fees or how do you call it vacation um, extra money let's say which they can spend on new products for their vacation or whatsoever so data and psychology is where it's all about luckily google shares all this data with you so you can see what trends are there and what data there is on the past so you can make data driven decisions for the future yes so like i said data and psychology it's really important but why do you need then so many products it also has to do with data and psychology because there is a lot of demand a lot of people have a lot of different buyer intentions these people all want different kind of product it's not that the all consumers want one product. No, that's not how it works, especially not in Google, because these people are there intentional. They are looking for different kind of products. Like I said in my last video, we have winter jackets as a product type, but there are so many different winter jackets which people think are nice, you know, with fur, with hoods, which are water protective. So you need a lot of products to make sure you can fulfill a lot of demand. And we are using the following rule of thumb here a little bit. 750 products for 100k a month. But it's actually more. You need 1,000 products at least. That's really important. Uh, 1,500 products to reach 200k a month. 2,000 products, 300k. 2,500 products, 2,500 products to reach 400k a month. Like I said before. So you need a lot of products to fill all those demands. But it's also really important to make these decisions data-driven. Because... Trends are really important. You have to validate the trend to make sure you are know you're on the right path. The search volume is inconsistent. It's not like I said, it's not that people are searching for jeans the whole year long um, on the same search volume. No, there are trends and if you want to capitalize on them, you need to make sure that you incorporate them in your product research strategy. So what is the four step method to fill a store with thousand plus products? Well, this is the method. We are using ChatGPT as the inspiration for the foundation. We're using Google Trends to validate the trends that we found in ChatGPT. We're going to use Google Keyword Planner to find those specific type of products that are in a certain category to make a data-driven strategy. And at last, we need to do product research. Product research for products that have product market fit within those specific categories, within those specific product types. So ChatGPT, how are we going to use it with this product research method? Well, we are using a custom GPT from ChatGPT and that's called Keyword Planner. I will um, share the link down below in the description. Um, I'm really thankful for GoTrends.app. I'm not an affiliate or whatsoever. I don't know these guys or girls who are creating this. I'm just really thankful because this is integrated with the data of Google Keyword Planner. But of course, it's not 100% correct. So we are using and this Keyword Planner and Google Trends and Google Ads Keyword Planner to make sure we have a holistic data-driven strategy. 
Um, so I will also share with you the following prompt, um, which will make sure you get insight into which product types within a certain niche are doing well. For example, which lighting products have an increased search volume in the months April, May and June in the United Kingdom? Then the result of this keyword plan in GPT will be put into Google Trends. So we find here those trends, but we have to validate them in Google Trends. So we're using trends.google.com. I will also share the link down below to see if we can validate this trend, if we can confirm this trend. For example, with garden lights. As we can see here, we are currently pretty low. We are currently pretty low. And it's unfortunate that it is not a live board, but in Google Trends, this period is actually between March and June because people are gonna sit more outside. People want to enjoy the weather, but they also wanna enjoy some nice lights. And for example, when it's really hot in the evening, people wanna sit outside, wanna have some really nice cozy lights. You know, you know how it works. So the trend is going to be there. People want to have garden lights during that period. This one was an extreme example because of COVID. But as we can see here, this was also during the Q2. So April, May, June. And we are now on time. Like I said in my last video, we need to anticipate on those trends four to six weeks in advance. So we found this trend, garden lights. It's doing well. It's going to do well. So what kind of garden lights do we need to upload? What kind of specific product types do we need to find? So that's where we use Keyword Planner. Google Ads Keyword Planner is your friend to find those specific product types. Because here, garden lights is really general. Also like outdoor lights, it's pretty similar. But as we can see here, already a specific product type, solar garden lights, excuse me for my, for my drawings, or solar lights outdoor. So we know people are looking for outdoor lights that have solar panels on them. But they also like string lights, you know? So string lights is also another option, outdoor lanterns. So we already have a couple of specific product types that we can find on Google right now to make sure we can fill collections with product types that are, have product market fit because we validated the trend now, we found these specific product types, these sub collections, and now we only need to find the products that already have the demand for it. So we're gonna find product market fit for those products, and we're gonna start a little bit general with garden lights. This product research method is all Google based because that's my area of expertise. There are also better product research methods out there, I'm re really honest with you. Also, the one with Facebook ads spying and all these stuff will probably work really, really well with this method. But today I'm gonna to share with you the one we do via Google. So we turn off our VPN. So yes, oh, yes, we turn our VPN on and we're gonna search in the Google search container, or you wanna call it this thing here, site double dot myshopify.com and then garden lights to make sure we find the stores that are selling via Shopify because that's really important. Most of the dropshippers are on Shopify. You can easily copy paste them. So we want to find stores that are selling via Shopify. As we can see here, we see some nice, um, uh, nice products around, some nice stores. So let's just pick the peaky green one. I picked that one for this example and we go to the website, go to their homepage, and we're gonna use the following URL behind their homepage. So they have their www.peakygreen.uk.co.uk and then slash, you're gonna add this URL part after it. Then you will find all the products that are selling really well and also the, all the types here. So you see all these types here and you can just filter on the types that you want to add to your store and you can just copy paste them. So now you find all those products from a competitor that is already selling them on Google Ads, which are selling really well, um, and which can be copied really easily because it's a Shopify store. So what we're gonna use, we're gonna use the copy app, of course, and we're gonna use DeepL. Um, VA is probably gonna do it, or if you're gonna do this by yourself, uh, good luck, it's, pretty, uh, it's quite some work. But I would advise you to create a Google Sheet uh, and put all the links in there for your VA so they can just copy paste it with the copy app and then eventually translate it with DeepL. DeepL is way better than Google Translate. 
in my opinion. So use this tool to translate them to your own language. Maybe you're selling in Germany, maybe you're selling in the Netherlands, maybe you're selling in Norway, um, in France, you can name it. So you probably have to rewrite it. And if that's not if that's not the case, if it's the same language, please rewrite it as well with ChatGPT because you don't want to have a DMCA. So guys, this fourth step method, which is data-driven, is going to anticipate on those trends and you can just fill your store with validated products, is going to get you to six figures a month. With this product research method, you just need to rinse and repeat this whole process to make sure you can fill all those collections. So you can fill eventually with garden lights, but also ceiling lights, floor lamps, LED lights, decoration lights, if you want to build a lightning store, for example, or a lighting store or a lamp store. But you can also do this with fashion. You can also do this with pet stores. You can also do this with gadgets or technology. It's just for every niche. This method is pretty straightforward and data driven. So I would really advise you to do this. And I want to thank you for watching this video. I hope you found some value in it. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to know more about Google Ads dropshipping. And I want to wish you guys a lot of luck on your journey out. By the way, don't forget to follow me on X. I'm sharing their value more frequently. Um, I want to wish you guys a lot of luck, like I said, and a really nice day.